Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For well over a year now, we have lived in a small Italian town in the small but stunning region of Molise in the south of Italy. As you can imagine, we have observed and learned a lot about Italian village life. Thanks to the fact that we have not only been observers, but participants of this lifestyle during this time, I think it is pretty safe to say that you can extrapolate our experience to most places across Italy. <laughs> That's awesome, wait! <sighs> To the untrained eye, it may seem like nothing is happening in small Italian towns and we're often asked, where are the people? To this question, I have many things to say and I actually have said those things, but as the question proceeds, maybe let's talk about it a little more. I am sure you're familiar with the saying Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Well, I will go as far as saying that reality lies in the eyes of the beholder. When you look at a small town in Italy, are you really observing or are you expecting to see something? Are you a tourist? Or are you a visitor? Are you letting the experience be and become itself? Or are you trying to impose the conditionings of your own culture and way of life onto what you see? Have you ever glanced quickly at grass and thought that it's just grass and there's nothing to see, but then you take your time to look deeper without expectations and realize that it's almost like a whole other universe in there, with ants doing their own thing, butterflies popping on the ground every now and then, lady beetles seemingly just looking pretty, and perhaps other things. Well, life in a small town in Italy is a lot like that. You won't see what is actually happening until you slow down and immerse yourself in that unique little universe. Hey, come here. There's a car coming. Come on. You're so vocal. You're hungry. What's your name? I think your name is Snowy. Hmm? Neve. Neve. Is your name Neve? Nieve Neve? No, Nieve in Spanish, Neve ah, in Italian. Wee! Go home. Go home, Boo Boo. Go home. Bye bye. Oh. Take our town for example, our down-to-earth but beautiful Montecilfone. If you come past in the colder months, you may live thinking that there is nothing happening here, but this assessment could not be farther from the truth. People here work with the rhythm of nature, meaning that they may slow down but will never stop. <laughs> You will find the men in the fields planting specific crops, getting wood ready for the fire and meeting inside their local bar, which is usually where socialization happens during the colder months. While women will be gathering together, indoors of course, to knead for a project of the town, make some pasta and freeze for later, and they will socialize with friends by inviting them over to their house for coffee or also meet at the bar. Ah, 
Once the warmer months arrive, the rhythm of life starts to change again progressively. Other crops are planted, different activities require attention, and just like nature, people start opening up again and spend more time outdoors. The way it should be, if you ask me. Like from the middle, it's starting to come right here. Attenzione! Che passo, raga! Right now, right now, I don't know if you can hear, but the fireworks are going off. Away about five minutes walk and are happening in front of the commune. And as I mentioned before, I am near the church. So I'm going to wait for the cars to come back. It's been a very, very busy day. The town is buzzing with life and sounds and people coming back into town, friends and family from somewhere else in Italy and others from even overseas as well. Everyone seems very exciting. Everywhere you walk, you see people giving each other big hugs because they haven't seen each other for a long time. Some just from last summer, but some of them even before COVID. So it's been very, very emotional. And I feel so proud and happy and thankful to having been asked to do this video because I am far from a professional videography. So I hope this um, this video com comes out nicely.
Ciao. Today is going to be the opening of the old people's home in our town. And we're coming to sign up. <laughs> There's a waiting list. So, yeah, we're going to see. Getting, we're just getting in 30 years in advance. We can't wait to get old. But that place is nice. It's a beautiful place. It would be like living in an apartment, in a Roman apartment. This one is more private. This one feels more cozy. Windows. A health center. You excited? We can get massages later. I don't think so. No, why not? I need a massage. It's weird getting a massage in your own town. <laughs> Been touched up. I go to a Thai place. You have to go to Vietnam. Huh? Have to go to Vietnam for it. I'm super excited about this place because that means that Montechifone now has a restaurant and a hotel that is not only just an Airbnb but a, a full staffed hotel. It has a spa. Um, I don't think I'll be able to show it today but hopefully later I don't know the video will come. In a small Italian village, progress doesn't happen overnight. People are usually here for the long run and chip away at their goals and happiness little by little, one day at a time. Nobody expects an overnight miracle that will set them up for life. Often you will find that the miracle itself is just to be able to be here. In our opinion, the weather in our town, both in summer and winter, is very mild. 
As soon as the colder weather starts making its way out, most cultural celebrations start taking place. The brighter and longer days allow us to really see the process and changes that have occurred during the colder months, as if we had been in such introspective state that we hadn't noticed it. In a small Italian village, progress happens at the meetings inside the comune as much as they happen during casual conversations at the bar. Progress happens when locals and newcomers alike bet on the potential of the town by buying a house, by expanding a business, keeping open the ones already established and opening new ones, by building new roads, by taking care of existing ones, by the simple action of putting a second water fountain in town, and even by opening a business that is seasonal with the hope and belief that each year it will do better. In a small Italian village, progress happens when you come here, look around and allow yourself to see that it's indeed possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!